this is Dixie Flipper. Welcome back. Hey, uh, so, I don't know what's with eBay today. <laughs> um, haven't had a sale today. Um, starting off yet. Um, same thing with Makari and Posh. But, going to keep it up. So, really quickly, uh, what I'm going to list. And then, I have a subject that I want to discuss. Um, so, I, again, have a bunch of VHS. So, Star Wars... Um, one, The Phantom Mendence. I mean, it was an okay film, but uh, VHS, um, the case is in okay condition, tape is in good. All these I've, I verified, made sure that they work, so no worries. Right, next one is Austin, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, um, VHS. This is actually in pretty decent shape. Other than the bottoms, if you can tell. But, tape works. Um, I, I don't know. I've never been an Austin Powers fan, honestly. Um, but that's just me. Right, next is Three Men and a Baby. I remember my mom and my sisters loved this show. Or maybe. I don't know why. Never was really a big fan myself. Um, but, decent uh, condition for the cover. And then the tape is in great condition as well. So, perfect. All right. Next one is Tom Hanks, Big. Um, I thought this was pretty funny when I was younger. Um, on it. I remember me and my dad watching it. This is okay. Um, everything looks good. They have tape that. Um, but the tape works and that on that side. All right. Uh, next is The Lord of the Rings. Um, awesome movie, in my opinion. I fell in love with the books when the movies came out. I wanted to read all of them before I watched the movie. And the, the books were far, far better. But the movies weren't bad either. Um, tape, everything works on it. Um, decent, you know, covers up for your normal wear and tear stuff that you see. On there, uh, City Slickers. I didn't see this until I was an adult, actually. Um, but I thought it was a good movie. Um, I, I loved it. Um, it was a good one. Uh, movie works perfectly. The case is actually in really good condition, um, on that. So that's why I'll be listening, listening. Um, and the next, Beverly Hills Billy, Beverly Hills Cop. Um, I haven't seen this one, um, or I've seen it a while back ago. I just don't remember. But a decent movie. Um, the case is in pretty rough shape, as you can tell. It's not the very best. But the tape works perfectly fine um, on that. Um, so, yeah. So it's not a bad one. Now, that's all the VHS I'm showing you. Of course, I'm listing a lot of them because I have a lot. Um, most of the time they'll just go into draft forms and then as I list my 10 a day, um, I will list a couple of the VHS so it's not way diluting, um, everything on eBay for me. Alright, so, I have some, some hats. Got this bucket hat. You can see. I thought it looked pretty cool. I picked this up at the bins, um, on there. Um, so, that's kind of a reversible hat. But it has that same um, pattern inside. So, I'll be listing this. will be going up on my eBay, Posh, or Macari. Um, so, whatever one works best for you. Next is my advisor. Um, it's from the Coffee Rocky Championship. Um, the Epson Tour LPGA. Um, right there is, I mean, not bad. Even the sweat stain there barely any on there so I will be listing those that one as well um, next is actually when I found out our local thrift store here in st. George it doesn't have a brand on but it is it says cut in USA so I don't know if that means made but it's a big orange barbershop quartet right there it is an old one you can see much stained. Um, I have washed these, but they just sometimes don't come out. So, 
not a bad one, um, but I'll be printing that up. Um, with hats, I like to be in it for a dollar or less. Um, the last couple ones been in it for more like three bucks a hat. Um, so um, these I'm in it actually for like 50 cents a hat, so not bad. I'm gonna be printing this uh, split rock um, right there. Um, it's a adjustable hat, um, actually in really good shape. So I'll be printing that up. Um, next one is going to be Tori Utah. Um, it's kind of like an army hat um, on there. There we go. If I mispronounced the name, I, I apologize. Ed, but looks in really good condition. I'll be doing the tape thing to get all the little strands off. But I'll be listing that today. Um, next one is a Utah 1998 NCAA Final Four. Um, right there, it's a red, red hat. It's an adjustable one, it has this elastic band on there. It's a really cool hat, in my opinion, but it will be listed today. All right, ne the next will be Aqua, if you can see that. Oh man, it says that. Um, Bay Harbor, ME, Michigan, I think. But it's good. It's adjustable. You know, good inside. Basically, a really good dad hat, I would say, but it's my opinion. Oh, oh, I'm having a problem with hats falling. No! The bots! Oh no, I might have, have a. Okay. Um, I'm putting them right there. Okay. <laughs> and the last one is a St. George uh, sports hat on there. It's adjustable. It's a basic hat. Ooh. This one, I might be washing. I didn't see a stain on the side. I think I can get that out off on a wash. So I might not be listing that one. I will be washing it. I know this. But if you want, are interested, let me know. Um, I really doubt anyone is, but I have been surprised. Okay, so that's why I'll be listing today. Now on to the topic. Media. I mean, we're looking at cassettes, uh, CDs, uh, DVDs, um, disc only cassette or CDs, eight tracks, and VHS. Um, are these worth selling? As I'm sure you have heard and others, um, they, they do have value. Um, but a lot of time, especially like the older, the tech, like eight tracks, VHS, and, uh, cassettes they sell um i mean i look up my weekly sales um weekly and here i'll do that right now let's let's see i have my ebay store up here okay my ebay store here go to there okay so if i go to my my 31 day sales chart. It should tell me what my categories I sell most in. Um, right now is music CDs. Next one are hats. Uh, next will be Blu-rays and DVDs. Um, and then um, Burks and uh, cassette, vinyl records and the cassettes are down further on there. Um, so my top four are media. <laughs> on there in some shape and form so my only advice when you can find sealed I mean sealed uh, CDs sealed 8 tracks sealed anything sealed VHS um, and that kind of stuff because sorry I want to put you back there they will hold more value than doing this loose stuff on there um where I'd say where it'd be smart to do all media.
probably not unless you have a lot of it, like James uh, from my boring resale life. He has a lot of it, so therefore, uh, he, you know, it, it works for him. Um, but if you don't have a lot of it or you don't have a, the space to do a lot of it, um, it probably isn't the best investment um, on there. I like doing media. Um, I think it's cool to, to sell a, a, a cassette of Oklahoma, the original soundtrack of, of the Broadway play. Um, I think it's cool to sell sealed CDs or sealed cassette or eight tracks, uh, sealed DVDs, movies. I find enjoyment of it. So that's why I do it. Um, and it's up to you. It's what you feel comfortable in selling as what you feel like you can do. If you're doing this full time, I would not recommend <laughs> media um, as your majority of your inventory. Um, but if you're doing a part time like I am, where most of my money comes from my eight to nine to five job, my eight hours a day job, um, and this is for fun, yeah, I mean. These cassettes I picked up for ten cents a piece. Um, these VHS I did I picked up for ten cents a piece. Um, oh, sorry. Most of my CDs I picked up for fifty cents to a dollar, if uh, and a dollar is being more than what I normally pay. Um, cassettes around twenty five cents. Um, the reason why I have so many the CD only is because I were I bought a lot of sealed. And opened CDs, like so five crates of them for like 35 bucks. When I got them back, um, some of the sealed CDs um, and a lot of the um, used ones that weren't, the cases were crap. Um, they weren't in good condition. They cracked or shattered. And if I'm selling a uh, sealed CD, or anything, I want it to be in the best shape as can. So I've opened them up, put them, put, kept off face cover art, and then um, put the CD behind it and tape it up and sell it. And you you wouldn't believe these normally sell for four or five dollars a piece. They take a while to do it, <laughs> but they eventually do um, on their plus shipping. Um, so my my down to fall my. What I'm getting at is, do what you love. Um, if you love media, if you love DVDs, I mean, go for it. Me, personally, I have a bunch of used DVDs that I'm trying to move. Um, I don't buy a lot of DVDs anymore, unless they're sealed or they have some kind of value where I scan it and it's like 50 bucks. <laughs> you know, then I probably pick it up. Um, and most of the time what I do is the media I do pick up that aren't the large, like maybe a one-off, I keep in storage. Um, as I run through what I have, I replace it. Um, so it's up to you. Uh, this is your store. This is your inventory. This is your business um, or hobby. Me, I try to run it as a business the best I could with the limited time I have. But this is your choice, you know? eBay, like I said, you know, um, Monday was an okay day. Um, this last weekend was awesome. I had 22 orders in a weekend, which normally I'm lucky if I get 10, you know. Um, today's been a crop shoot, <laughs> you know, so far. But it's your choice how you want to run it. Set goals out. And the big question is, what are you doing to achieve those goals? Is buying media will get you to those those goals. If not, you probably shouldn't buy media unless you really love it. If buying plush will get you to those goals, well, if you really love plus, like Dave the NC picker or yeah NC, you know, ADHD. Sorry, Dave. Um, he loves plush, but he has come to, uh, in my opinion, he's finally come to recognition that plush doesn't always sell great. But he's found an outlet to sell them on whatnot. Good for him. I mean, uh, that's awesome. Um, I tried to sell DVDs on whatnot. It didn't go well. <laughs> I think I sold a total of two bundles of five. And I made like $3, three or four bucks between the two. 
didn't go well. So I don't do whatnot. But my point is do what you love. Um, if you love selling DVDs, plush, vinyl, um, cassettes, um, anything, you know, that's a slow sales rate, find a way that you're okay with it. Um, if that means selling on whatnot, if you're okay with doing a store, you know, storing it until it sells, um, it's up to you. I mean, don't let anyone tell you how to run your business. Um, like I always say, you know, this business, as far as I can tell, and it's the only someone been on comparably to everyone else that you've seen on, on it for about two, two and a half years, is very subjective. Meaning, um, you can't control what people want. Um, you can't control when, when trends come back in style. Um, you can't control the economy. You just can't. But what you can do and what you can control are things that are in your grasp, like inventory. Where do you want that business to go? Do you want to just remain as a hobby? Okay, if you want to make a hobby, selling cassettes, CDs, tapes, DVDs, Blu-rays, um, quiet phone, <laughs> Blu-rays, it's fine. It will probably work great. Um, if you want to run it as a business and this is your only income, you might want to start tending away from it or be prepared for a large inventory, um, which isn't bad. If you can do it, more power to you. Um, I just don't have the space, um, and I have a 10 by 15 storage unit um, that my wife won't let me take it all over yet. So, <laughs> so do what you can. Make a plan, set goals, evaluate your, your inventory. If that inventory is good with you, make sure you're getting it as cheap as you can. Um, make sure you're running sales. Make sure you're, you're advertising it either through eBay or the other platforms. Or, hey, do a YouTube video. You know, um, Make sure your pricing is right. Make sure your inventory, your in, you're storing your inventory correctly. Um, so it's not ruined while sitting there to, to sell a list um, and do all those things. Um, other than that, I hope your, your day is going well. I should be back here tomorrow, let's hope, um, and we can go from there. But thank you again for hopping on. You have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>